Hi, um, I made this video to try to help some of my teacher friends to um, record their lesson um, so that they could send it off to their students. <clears throat> so um, I found this really cool, uh, I guess, YouTube video on recording your screen because I was having some difficulty doing that. So. Um, the first thing you need to do is look up top at your toolbar to see if the recording feature is on. If it's part of your options, then you just click on that and then you'll follow the steps um, that I'm going to go into in a little bit. But if not, you're going to have to go into file. And then options. And then you're gonna go into customize ribbon. And if your recording option is not available, it's because it's not checked off here. So check it off there and then hit okay. And then it should populate up here. So once you have that in your toolbar, then um, get your presentation ready, get uh, your lessons ready in a PowerPoint presentation. Um, and then from there you can um, go into your lesson. So you can, you have two options. You can record your lesson using the screen recording, which I'm using now, or you can record your slideshow, which is what I used to help my students <clears throat> um, to actually complete my lessons. I'm sorry. So go ahead and select that um, if you're going to record the lesson for your students. So you have the option of record from the beginning, which is what I did. So if you click that, it'll take you to this. So this is my um, first week of using digital learning with Google Classroom. So I kind of created this PowerPoint specifically for my kids. So <clears throat> you will go through the lesson. It, it allows you to use your pen or your highlighter and erase anything. You can definitely mark anything that you need to on here. For example, if I wanted to highlight phonics, it'll let you do that um, and all that fun stuff. So it goes slide by slide and you can audio record. Um, you can narr or narrate your, your lessons. You could um, insert videos if you'd like. So before you actually start that, you would have to select record. So once you hit record, it will start recording your screen. At that time, um, then that's when you would start your lesson. Once you're done, you continue on by hitting escape. So it'll take you back here. And that's where you select export to video. So once you select export to video, you I leave the, I leave the defaults alone. Um, when I com when I completed my video, my lesson, I just left everything alone, and you hit create video. Once you create the video, it'll ask you where you want it to save. Um, I, I have a folder, but if you want to just save it for just to simplify everything, you can save it onto your desktop. Once you do that. At the bottom of your screen, you'll have a bar that'll tell you how long it'll take before your uh, PowerPoint presentation is converted into MP4. So it does take a while, just FYI. Once it does that, then you can go onto your desktop, which your MP4 will show up here. Once you um, see it here, you can open it and it's just a video. Hi, welcome to our first So that's my digi digital learning video. So I'm gonna X out of there. But I just wanted to show you how, <clears throat> how it um, converts your PowerPoint into an MP4. I hope that helps some of you. Thanks, bye.